Blue 6. <laughs> One of, uh, you know, running retail shoes, biggest launch of any shoe we've heard um, in the running industry. It went over really well. It's starting to trickle down, so a lot of the running stores across the U.S. are now starting to have the access to the shoe. It used to be some of the bigger accounts. Now you're getting it. We have it down at the runner's flat. What is it? This is still the the Adidas glide that people are used to, but it's it's definitely been revamped and, and changed. And so, Tom, let's talk about specs. You can even read this cheat sheet if you want. We'll explain it to you a little bit. Okay? Okay, now we'll do that. Um, so yeah, with the boost, it's essentially just this these little plastic pellets, essentially, that are, are blown up to uh, to be softer, but also it's not to break down like a standard EVA cushion would. Yeah, so it's, it's weird. I don't know if they like melt it in a vat and then blow air into it and expand mm -hmm. it, but what they're saying is this stuff doesn't compress. And then EVA shoe, what the deal is, why did they tell you three to 500 miles, is once that shoe, it's blown rubber, which means it has air blown into that rubber compound. And when you squish all that out or it oxidizes and you get rid of that, it's not expanded anymore, it's compressed. And that's what happens. So people say, oh, this shoe's not, you know, it doesn't look bad because they look at the outsole. But what happens is there's no more give in that anymore. So they're running on a nice, you know, non-forgiving piece of rubber platform, okay? So this is a compound that supposedly doesn't wear out. What they were saying basically then is you'd look at the bottom of the shoe and that would be what what's going to break down and what causes your shoe to be done essentially and Adidas still uses their continental rubber. You're 21% better traction in dry conditions and 23% in wet. Basically just it's going to grip the ground. It does and it does. A lot I mean it's a little squeaky on some surface surfaces. Um, but what they're saying is this shoe lasts as long as the outsole. So this midsole is what usually wore out on traditional shoes. That's not going to wear out. What's going to wear out is the outsole, and once you're through that, then you start rubbing through the boost material, and you're, you know, basically shredding that away. And that's when, so you know I think about it, I run a lot of dirt trails. Those are way more forgiving than than asphalt, and pavement, sidewalk, streets. And so you know this may be a thousand mile shoe for someone that doesn't tread on you know pavement all the time. So uh, other specs on here. Uh, Engineered mesh upper, so no seams here. You'll see welded inlays that they give you added protection in spots. But like a lot of the companies are doing right now, you know, it's kind of a, it feels like a one piece upper. Adidas, the three stripes always have given you that arch lock, so it still locks down. We had a lady in this morning, and she was saying that this felt a little roomy, more roomy to her than other shoes, and she liked it because she didn't have a narrow foot. Um, and then this is an EVA, if I can show you. Uh, basically ride liner across the top on both sides of the shoe. What that does is it deadens any any type of vibration for one thing, but it also makes this shoe step in, feel similar to the glide. So if you've already been in the glide and really liked it, they're trying to give you a, a chance to kind of feel at home in this, even though there is definitely some changes that have been made. We miss anything else? Uh, one thing that like our rep was talking about too, and, and we kind of saw is they have these the lon longitudinal decoupling here on the forefoot, and that supposedly just allows a a more natural movement through that. Uh, when they're cutting them essentially uh, across there perpendicular, then you're you're running through those ridges mm -hmm. per se. When they when they roll them with the direction that you're going, then supposedly the flow is a little better, yeah. and then this torsion system that Adidas has always used. Again, they split it through here, and what that does is allow it to cradle in so that they're trying to give you that nice neutral foot flow um, from heel or midfoot forward. And so this is a 10 millimeter drop shoe, 31, 21, heel to toe. Uh, what's the ounces on it? 10.4 for guys and 8.8 .8 for cool. gals. So just over 10 ounces, that used to be a very light shoe, now it's kind of right in the middle, but with a boost material that hopefully doesn't wear out, 130 bucks, you know, a lot of people are excited about the shoe. Neutral cushion, it's not a stability version, the sequence is going to be out with a boost in it, and that would be your stability version of this, if that makes sense. Anything else?
I would do. A lot of stuff. We'll get somebody in them. Yeah, I think Andy's going to be in them. Not Tom or I, but first impressions, thanks to Jaime, the cameraman.